Moving on to other stories now, the South Korean economy beat estimates for its growth last year. Increased spending in the private and public sectors are seen as key contributing factors. Yoon Yun Shin breaks down the numbers for us. The Korean economy has grown and even slightly exceeded expectations despite concerns about the impact of the political instability the nation saw at the end of last year. The Korean economy expanded 2.8% in 2016 from the previous year due to an increase in private and government spending, greater investment in the construction sector, and a decrease in facility investment. The Bank of Korea said production in the manufacturing sector expanded in the 2 percent range, while growth in the service industry slowed down. For individuals, gross disposable income, which measures the amount of money a person can spend, went up 3.5 percent last year from the year before. But its value in terms of the U.S. dollars rose only 0.9 percent to over $15,000. The nation's per capita gross national income rose last year by 1.4 percent, or about 400 U.S. dollars, to about 27.500. However, that figure is yet to reach the 30,000 mark after surpassing the 20,000 level for the first time 10 years ago. Since 2014, it's been stuck in the $27,000 range. The sluggish growth of the economy in recent years is partially due to events inside the country, such as difficulties for big companies, including the collapse of Hanjin shipping. But the fact the global economy has been growing at a rather slow pace was also an influence. Korea did better than expected last year, but with a number of global factors that could have an impact on the nation's economy, such as Brexit, the expert says the priority for Korea needs to be stability at home. Yun Shin, Arirang News.